cosplay super panel of doom. Uh, my name is Will. I'm also known as Dark Sparrow online. I'm going to start off with this awesome little background here. This is my friend Holly Brook. And then also at our table is the lovely Miss Margarita Guzman. And the lovely Miss C. Sprinkle Run. How are you, lady? Hi. <laughs> this side of Asgard, my good buddy Thor TV and Loki Me Too. We're excited to have you guys here in Fresno area. Everything that we've done on all these costumes, you can learn strictly. Like, this was my first build, and I learned everything from this off of YouTube and the internet. Like, every, every costume. What we've gone and done is Native American soldiers, and they're being operated on in this secret um, Black Ops lab. Um, we're not saying books um, and one other superhero book that's not attached right? from other, from, yeah, the, so we're from guys that are standing in the like right after I graduated engineering, I started getting a little bit busy. That's around the time where I, I booked My Little Pony. And I just thought, well, I'll just, I'll keep riding this until it dies down and then I'll get, I'll go get an engineering job. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so in these relationships with several people, executives at New Line, that Warner Brothers loves us. Uh, they're, they're like, we just want these guys to win. They're fantastic, you know? <laughs> I've worked with Emmett Publishing uh, on a series called Cherry's Guide to Comics. And I'm currently working on a new series called Sometimes I Sleepwalk. I uh, created a little mini comic series called Flass of Badger about a floppy, hungry badger who's also secretly a ninja assassin. <laughs> and so you can't hear anything, you've got prosthetics up your nose, you've got wrist bits and glue in your mouth, and then you've got this robot eye that I forgot that I had, and every now and then it would be a I'm like, this <laughs> long history of that character, and, and there's not been much of that to indicate that he could be gay. Yeah, generally, it's not a bad idea. It's a weird, it's an awkward way to get into something. The things that they get into the first season is going to be based around how are they going to pay for the rent because they are actually a month behind. Yeah, Black and White, Shazam, Wonder Woman, and especially Kato and the Green Hornet. You know, that was, wow, is that Asian on TV? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, all the other So they're going to do the same exact thing with Civil War. They, everyone knows, everyone's heard of Civil War, so that's what they're selling you on. They're selling you on that name. And they're selling you on the concept. So that I um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One's clean, one's not. Um, the non-clean version is faster. Uh, so the non-clean version is, um, if you guys have ever done uh, pumpkin carving, it's that saw blade motion. So there's no set path to become a Every Everybody will have their own individual, this is how I got into this. And, and they sitting across from each other in the same room and talking for an hour about video games. And it's more than, and we found out it's more than just that. It's the planning of the show, thinking about what we're going to discuss. I mean, you're walking around and two hours later, stuff just starts falling off because sweat and body heat have eaten through that hot glue. So do not use hot glue. You can do it for some things, but for the most part, if you're putting together armor, do not use hot glue. It will fall apart. I'm going to erase it. Then it's gone. And uh, you don't have the month of writer's block that's tearing at your soul, and you can't look back at your journal and look at so, it. So, as you can see, uh, the life of a cosplayer is not the life that we're living. We don't, we don't dress in every single costume that we can think to make. We just get called that guy who looks like that other guy over and over and over again. We get compared to people, we get uh, objectified a little bit. Not a lot. I mean, it happens. Yeah, that's a good one. So that's we, a good question. we, I know Manoa is a big fan of, um, is it Star Wars 7.com? Star Wars 7 News, but they're changing it soon. But if you go on YouTube and type inside of Star Wars 7 News, it's, they're usually in Star Wars, they're usually um, hot, there's websites or hotspots for news. And Yak Face is something that I've, so you can protect yourself that way. I would say, don't have all of your work be copyrighted stuff, because then, um, as many are aware, Disney will probably own it all at the end of the day. So yeah, I get, I get inspiration from just everything that you think of with your kids and showers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, sh the shower is a magical uh, 
uh, machine of plot production. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Long drive. The people that want to play zombies, I mean, everything they're watching, you know they're practicing at home. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody, everybody has their zombie walk, you know? So you said, when they came in, their zombie face, so you don't really have to tell them most of the time. Writer's life, he, that, he starts to warm up and starts to see the beauty and uh, the nature. You know, that, you know, things aren't so bad. And perhaps... <laughs> versus Daredevil. Oh, okay, this is not even fair. <laughs> Ash from Evil Dead versus, yes, Daryl uh, Dixon from Walking Dead. Ooh. Oh, oh my, God. God. my question would be Lobo versus Wolverine. Lobo versus Wolverine. 